Hey guys, Sci-Fi here. Uh, a couple of people asked me questions about how the new impulse boards are working and uh, the autococker eyes and stuff like that. So I wanted to do a quick video and talk about some of the newest features. First of all, I have an example of the longer version of the upper board. And I have an example of the shorter version of the upper board. Uh, I rearranged some features and uh, uh, basically reshaped this board a little bit so it now works with both the short version of the upper and it also works with the long version of the upper and they should clip together with no problem regardless of what size upper board you have so i'm happy with that some of the other features is uh it does work with auto cocker eyes I've got a brand new set of autococker eyes from autocockerparts.com. Um, it just plugs in right up here in this top connector, and there you go. Autococker eyes work on the board. Uh, the other thing that's supposed to plug directly into the board is the solenoid. And originally what I had said was I was going to have a smaller size connector built into the board and you would change the connector on the wires of your solenoid and then you could plug the wires directly into the board. So I changed gears a little bit and what I did was I left the connector off of the board but I left room to install the full size connector. So we can get a connector and solder it onto the board and then you can plug in your solenoid without having to replace uh, the, the uh, wired end of the connector. So, the reason it's not already soldered, soldered on there is because uh, the device of the connector is actually too tall. And when it's on there, it interferes with the upper board. When we clip them both together, it actually keeps us from being able to uh, clip them together because the height of that connector is so tall. So, it only works if you don't have an upper board, which is not a problem for the people that need it because they probably don't have an upper board. Um, anyway, I'm going to be ordering some of those connectors. If anybody needs one, holler at me and I'll, I'll send you one for free. Um, if you need to send your board back to me and have me solder the connector on into place, I can do that for you. That's not a problem. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying all the new boards that went out. We'll see you on the field.